There, I got it. Yay. Let's do this. Press start to play. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to In Retrospect. Welcome to episode three of my Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. On this episode, we're going to be going through Clanker's Cavern. And in order to do that, first, we have to open up the painting, which so happens to be right here. All right. So, thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, if you noticed, I don't have a webcam on for this episode. Reason being because I'm not feeling too good, and I don't really think you guys need to see my face the entire time. So, I'm just going to go through this like a traditional Let's Play. Just a microphone and a game. Because that's all you really need. That's all really anybody needs. It keeps the mystery alive. Except it totally doesn't. You guys already know what I look like. And, yeah. So, now we've got the door open for Clanker's Cavern. And all that we need to do there is get the 10 Jiggies, 100 Music Notes, the Jinjos, and the Honeycoat Pieces, and the new move, which if I remember correctly, is the Wonder Wing. But, actually, was I supposed to go through here? Oh, wait, no, 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 I don't need to go there yet. Yeah, this is the way to Clinker's Cabin. My bad. Going right over here. We don't need to go through that other place yet. That's not until the next episode. All right. So all we gotta do is just raise these, uh, raise these pipes so Banjo can traverse. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Clinker's Cavern is probably one of my least favorite levels in Banjo-Kazooie. If you watch my in retrospect, you'll know that that title actually goes to Rusty Bucket, but Clanker's Cavern is eh, well, probably my second least favorite. I hope that's not too crazy for you guys to handle because I know I know a lot of people like Clanker's Cavern a lot. I'm just not one of them. I don't know. I guess I don't really like the whole industrial theme levels very much. I prefer the whimsical, bright color, fun, tastic levels. But, at the same time, I like the dark aesthetic that these levels have. It's just that I'm not a fan of the design. Um, but, right up here, you'll see the, one of these villains for the first time. And I forgot the name of them, so I will try and look that up and just give myself more work in editing. Um, hopefully, I should know what that enemy is by the time I'm editing this video. But we got the golden feathers, and now we have another mumbo skull. And these golden feathers are used once we learn the move Wonder Wing, which we find inside of Clanker himself. And if you didn't know, Clanker is actually a thing that's in the level. And I don't want to give too much away. Well, let's just say he's massive and scary. Massive and scary. Very scary. And hey, another ginger. Alright, so we just need four more of those. And I'm pretty sure I've got the gist of where I need to go. So level starts off kind of weird. You just see this big opening and you're like, all right, is this all there is to the level? But no, you have to explore underwater to get through the rest. Which I guess is kind of a neat way. And oh my God, massive teeth. What is this? That my friends, is Clanker. Basically the garbage disposal of Gruntilda's lair. It's just a living mechanical shark. Lovely. All right, and what we need to do is swim down there to free him, but I'm not going to do that yet because I need some air. And, boy, I've been stuck on this level quite a few times before. I really hope that I can get through all of this in the first episode. I may not be able to. Um, I don't really have that much time to get through this, but it won't be longer than three at the most. But, the last two episodes were almost half an hour to complete a level. I know it's going to take me a lot longer than that to beat this one. But, hopefully I can get this all in one episode for you guys. Unless if you want me to split it up, which you might be easier to watch. Let me know in the comments what you want. Do you want long Let's Plays? Or do you want segmented Let's Plays? Just more of them. So like maybe like 10 minute episodes and then splitting off until next Friday. 
which I hope that schedule is working out for you guys. Um, it's definitely easier on me. So let me know in the comments if you like the format that I have of an episode every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this guy is a lifesaver. Literally. <laughs> Gives you the precious air you need while you're down here in like the dark, the deepest level. Uh, the deepest part of the level. And down here you'll find a couple music notes as well as a Jinjo. But what's really important down here is this lever that you can use to um, raise Clinker up to the surface. But I'm just going to grab one of these. Um... There we go. So that's necessary, and I might as well just swim through the wind-up, the very first one. I think you have to do this three times. And it's really simple. You don't even have to swim in this into it the same way as you did before you can just go back around there you go all right so this lever is going to be bringing clanker up to the surface which is what we want because that will get us up closer towards this jiggy that's right above him it'll also let us shoot out the gold teeth on his uh in his mouth that will get us inside of clanker and yes we do go inside clanker that is not a sexual joke Please don't make it one, like I just did. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm feeling a little under the weather, so this episode is probably going to be a little bit more chill. Um, it might even be like an ASMR video, who knows. And I just realized I am about to die. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, come on. Just get that. Just get... Okay, that's good. Let me try and refill my air, which I desperately need. So I'm just going to grab one more bubble and now I can swim back up to the surface because I've already got the music notes and I've already got the Jinjo and I wound up the uh, the uh, dial. I don't even know what those things are called. Wind the switch. Hey! Look at that. While swimming back up, we happen to find another honeycomb piece. One of the things that I desperately needed earlier and I missed on the very first episode of my 100% run. So, um, I guess Clanker's Cavern isn't too bad. Uh, the industrial theme is pretty cool. Like, I like the whole garbage dump aesthetic to it. Uh, it has some good things going for it. Like, the Clanker himself and the mutant crabs that are in the little room nearby. But, I think, I don't know. It's it's cool, but at the same time, it's just not my favorite. And I would say that my favorites are probably Treasure Trove Cove, Mad Monster Mansion, and Click Clock Wood. Those are the, the top three, in my opinion. Breeze Easy Peak's pretty good, but... I don't know. I just have a special place in my heart for Treasure Trove and for Mad Monster. There we go. So, we helped Clanker with his toothache. But before we go inside, we are going to go up here, and that will bring us over to this precarious pipe that we can traverse in order to get this jiggy, and bam! We are on the board with our first jiggy, ladies and gentlemen. We only have nine more to go, and I hope I didn't just die. Thankfully, I did not. That's pretty good. So I'm going to climb back up here because there is another Jiggy at the tail fin right here. Actually, there is a Jinjo on this tail fin. But this is just the Jiggy. So we have two Jiggies now. And I just need to grab these music notes. Ah! Alright, this might be a little hard. Okay, so I think I need to just shoot this with eggs. Yep. There we go. That was pretty easy. And like I said before, Clinker's Cavern isn't too bad. It's just not really the best, in my opinion. If it is your favorite level, then I'm sorry to have offended you. But, you know, we have our different opinions. 
I will say though that I do like this aesthetic and I can't wait to see more of it in ukulele. I like the whole industrial thing and with that one villain, I forgot his name, um, it's like McRich Pants or something. Um, but his whole casino level and I really like that casino level. It reminds me of Sonic. It reminds me of Casino Night, or Casino Zone. Um, which I'm not opposed to. But it looks like a lot of ukulele has the industrial feel to it, which I'm curious to see how it plays out. It's only coming out in three months from now. That's really, really soon. It's weird to think that I have been waiting for that game for almost two years. Crazy to think that Kickstarter came out so long ago. Um, I ordered a digital copy for PS4, and ow. Damn it. You motherfucker. Really? Alright. Die. That's it. Die, you asshole. Alright. Got him. Cool. Now we're gonna climb up and use this shock pad to spring us over to these little ledges, which should have, I think, another mumbo token at the very end. Not 100% sure. It has been a little while since I played this one. But we got some music notes. Oh, we got a, a life. Okay, cool. So it's an extra life, but if I just drop down. All right, well. Good. So we killed that one. And we can hop onto this little ledge. And then there's gonna be a secret jiggy right over here. Kaboom! Nice. So, we've got four jiggies. And already we are doing pretty well. Now we're inside Clanker himself. We're in his mouth. And a lot of this level really reminds me of uh, Jabu Jabu's belly in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, I don't know if it's just because you're inside a giant sea creature, or if it's like the textures are so similar. Um, but, I don't know, I just think it's funny how these two games that came out almost at the exact same time as each other, uh, have a very similar level. And right here, this is the little race, which I always thought was pretty fun. And then we gotta swim through all these hoops just to make sure that we get through them in this, the correct amount of time. I tried to drink some coffee before this, but I think since I'm just feeling sick, it's just not really affecting me at all. So this is kind of just a really quiet and chill let's play. How are you guys doing? Um, just here to hang out. It's just a really laid back time, you know. You're getting one of those ASMR Let's Plays. And uh, I can just whisper deep into the mic and hopefully trigger some ASMR senses. Like this, when I talk very creepily. And anybody in any normal situation would find this very odd and weird. But thousands of people on the internet can't stop watching. And then they shame themselves for watching these. They're too afraid to admit they have ASMR. I don't know, man. The ASMR stuff is pretty weird. I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, I think that's like a, like my actual thing that I do have. Like I do get tingling sensations whenever I hear like certain sounds, but it's really weird. It's hard to describe ASMR to someone without thinking that it's just a fetish. You know what I mean? Like. I can't describe the feelings I get from ASMR without people thinking that I just have a weird fetish and it's just really weird and uncomfortable. And <laughs> that's just my little niche that I have to keep to myself. You know, it's my little secret area. And I, I don't know where I'm going with that. So I hope you enjoy this really weird episode. This face camless ASMR babbling sick, bedridden episode of Clanker's Cavern with Banjo-Kazooie. Should have been the other way around. Ah, but now we are going into what I believe is the spinning room of death where we learn the Wonder Wind. 
And I don't know if I have enough gold feathers, but hopefully bottles should be able to fill up my my amount. All right. So the Wonder Wing is basically just an invincibility shield, and you use it to uh, get through impenetrable objects or things that would normally just kill you immediately. However, you can only do it a, a limited t for a limited time due to it using these golden feathers, which you can only carry 10 of. So, let's try and get through. And that was easy. Alright, so we got through, and we got our six Jiggy. So, now I need to go back. And I don't think there's really a whole lot left to do in Clinker's Cavern besides collect the rest of the music notes. And I think that's about it. But I think now we just have to explore like the mutant crab, find the Jinjos. And yeah. I think we're doing pretty well for this episode. I thought it was going to take a lot longer, but I guess I was wrong. Hopefully there's nothing I have to worry about down here. But... I think we're doing pretty good. Um, also, thank you so much, guys, for watching uh, Got Item. I'm really happy with how the reception's been for that, and I'm definitely going to be doing more episodes of that in the future. Uh, if you liked it, please let me know in the comments of either this video or the Got Item video what accessories you want me to cover next, because I'm trying to start collecting accessories now, now that I have most of the main N64 games. So... I just actually found out about an accessory that was exclusive to Europe that I wanted to make a video for, but I didn't think that the price was worth it. Um, it's basically a rumble pack that only came out in Europe, but the cool thing about it is, is that it came bundled with, uh, it was an accessory that was bundled in with Buck Bumble, and instead of it being gray, it was yellow, and it was called the Bumble Pack. <laughs> Um, it's a really stupid accessory, but it's a little cool piece of N64 history that was only available in Europe, which doesn't really get that much attention with N64 videos. I feel like there were some pretty good PAL exclusive games that I really want to get my hands on. Um, if I remember correctly, which I guess is my catchphrase of Let's Plays, just to save myself from being wrong, um, if I remember correctly, uh... There is a Tasmanian Devil game that was exclusive to Europe, and it got some pretty decent reviews. It was like the Duck Dodgers game, which I would probably do an episode of sometime in the future. But right now, I think the main episodes in the pipeline are Super Mario 64, which I am almost done with, by the way. I've got the script all planned out, um, voiceover just needs to be done, and I should be good to go. And look at that, that was pretty that was a pretty solid run. I barely fell off. And now I just need to remember where I need to go. Because this is what happens every time I play Clanker's Cavern. I just get lost. But thankfully I think this is where the creepy mutant crab rave is happening. And all I need to do is just kill these fuckers. So let's do it. Yep, these are the weird the mutant dudes. Uh okay. All right, up, up, okay. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're good. I have full health, and now there should be one more, there he is. Oh, nope, hitbox wasn't big enough. There we go. Oh, one more. Oh, no. Bam. All right, so we just killed all these people after invading their home. Yes, beaten snippet mutants are we. You're the surprise. And look at that. We invaded their home because they had been banished by society for being freaks of nature. So they came to this only place they could for refuge and solidarity. And I invaded their home, murdered them, and stole their gold. And that, my friends, is the lovely adventure we call Banjo-Kazooie. Thanks for watching this Let's Play. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe for more morbid revelations about children's games. Yeah. Now I just need to remember how to get up. Oh, I think I'm just being stupid. Yeah, I am. I guess I just got up that way. But hey, now we have Jiggy number seven. Yep, number seven. So we are only three away. So that means that we need to get the Jinjo one. We need to get 
Um, God, I know there's others. I think there's a couple that are hidden around under the water, like through some of these tubes and whatnot. Uh, I am just hopefully going to edit some of this so that you guys aren't bored through the entire time. This might be a short episode because I might edit this because there's really a lot of dull moments in Clicker's Cavern, I'll be honest with you. Not a whole lot going on. But, nevertheless, still, even with these, this level and uh, Rusty Bucket, Banjo-Kazooie is still my favorite game. These two levels don't deter it in any way. Um, and I think that's the case with a lot of people in their own favorite games. You know, every game has a not good level compared to the rest of it. Super Mario 64, Dire Dire Docks, Ro Jolly Roger Bay. Usually water levels are Mario's worst levels. But I will cover some of those definitely in the future. And what was this? This was nothing. Oh, that's right. I need to go down here. I need to check out what's going on in these abandoned tubes. Nothing, just eggs. We don't need those. We need music notes and jiggies, please. Please, come on. I am desperate for material. This is not the high energy let's play I hoped it would be. We got the red feather. We got the red feather. We got the red feather. I got the red feather. You got the red feather? We got the red feather. I'm gonna stop this. I don't know where it's going. All right. So, I think we need to go back up here. Yeah, we definitely need to be up here. There's a Jiggy in there. So, I just need to get to the spring pad. And, hopefully, I won't get attacked by this stupid slug monster that appears out of these little vents. Come on. Alright. And, hiya! Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Good. And then, that's right, we have to climb up this. Collect the music notes. And... We got some, uh, Eggs and a mumbo token. Awesome. We are collecting a lot of mumbo tokens along this journey. But I just remembered that I have to go spring this way. Ah, ah, ah! Okay. Whew, that was close. I had to... I had almost made myself look like a fool. Hey, we found all the jigga, jiggies, jinjos, jins. So let's just watch as you can barely see me. <laughs> all right. Um. So I'm just gonna go down here because I think this is. Yep. Extra life. But we still need to go back and collect those music notes that were above. So we have eight jiggies total, and now we just need to find two more. We're doing pretty good. Uh, we're keeping up at about the same pace as the other episodes. Hopefully, I can get this done quickly. Um, I do want to get this video out there in time for Monday, which it is now Sunday night, and I have just been sick trying to get my stuff together. But let's go. Okay, there's the other honeycomb piece, and I think I might be missing some honeycomb pieces in uh, Treasure Trove Cove, which I will get back to. Um, I know I am still missing stuff on my 100% speed run. Yes, this is a speed run. This is the world record for how fast you can beat Banjo Kazooie. Because <laughs> I am that damn good. And as we're swimming along here, we have enough time to think of our live decisions. And now we have got the ninth jiggy. So now that just means there is only one more left. And I really can't think of where it might be so I'm just gonna swim into this wall as I try and my best to think of where we can go so I just realized I'm about to die come on 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 all right so I'm just gonna wander ah I know where the last one is how many? Oh, we only have six more to go. Awesome. Well, I think I might know where these last six are. And all we need to do is enter Clinker's blowhole. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. 
Just gotta wait for it to open and BAM! So, yep, here are the six along with the secret grunty switch, which I just missed ever so gracefully. Yes. Alright, so now. Alright. Well, that was easy. I thought this would be a lot harder. But look at that. We just finished Clinker's Cavern in record time. So, I guess now, I'll just leave. Alright, and we are back in the main room where the grunty switch was activated, which rose these eyeballs up, and I'm going to do the only thing you can do, which is slam on them with a giant beak. And after we send them back down, a jiggy explodes out of nowhere, leaving us for the next episode of this Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry it was a little, uh, a little low key, a little more chill, but hopefully I should be over this sickness soon. And until next time, guys, keep playing. You like that new ending uh, call sign? Does that sound good? Keep keep playing. Is that is that good? Should I just say I'll see you next time? What 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 should I do? Should should I should we um help? <laughs>